Hey everybody, this is Nora from the Wayfair Project Server, Mole Rayhan Report. Um, I've made some changes just in a very short period of time since I last did a video. I was had a venerable flat, fat horse who was pulling my cart, and so to ease some of the stress <laughs> of my um, fenced-in areas, with my new um, aged horse. If you haven't seen the video where I got the horse, I uh, took a trip to um, a far off land. No, it's not that far off. Far off land, um, and got the horse. And right now, trying to impregnate the horse with the male that was floating around here, but did not work. And so um, I might take this aged horse back out of here. Um, so I had a venerable horse, and so I just let her go, and then I said, let's let the other one go, and we're going to take some of my bred horses, um, not necessarily faster, and then usually the speed doesn't matter anyway. Um, so then I finally did my woad thing. Um, I've been trying to collect woads for a while. I believe that, um, worm on online has already got the um, update that lets the woad uh, be plantable and I looked up, this is one of the things I've been wanting, a plantable resource to be able to um, make a blue cart um, but I finally just collected enough through um, uh, foraging and botanizing I forget which one it is that gets you the woad hey. Could have done this this morning. Uh, this seems to be a task I do on the weekend. Is how much do I forge and botanize before I start planting? Because I'm I'm trying to do my my farms on the weekends when I have more time in a bunch, more time available to play. So I've noticed from that experience that the beginning of the weekend when I'm going over my area I have lots and lots of things to forage but I also have been trying to cut down um, wood mixed grass for my growing um, family um, I've got nature increasing um but uh, I noticed that it's the second day it's hard to get anything so I'm not farming as as uh, readily or as often. I do have a farm going. I f did not look as carefully at the time as I could have, um, but um, I'm tr trying to decide. Uh, this, is all, this is all feels like an aside from something I was trying to say earlier, and it probably is because that tends to be what happens with me. Um, I think I know what I'm talking about when I switch gears. Um, but I finally got enough, the whole point was I finally got enough load from my foraging and finally decided we're going to figure out how to do the woads. Because my brain couldn't come up with the how. Like, because I know the woad is one kilogram and I know that it takes 15 kilograms to get a cart. I've been wanting this cart since I started to be a different color, just for fun. Um, maybe not quite the right shade of blue and some of that's because of my natural substances so this is the, my um, uh, well first let's talk about what I was doing this morning I had a barrel which I would put in my barrel rack and I had a bucket and so I would take the bucket and I would fill it with water all the way I just I don't, I don't have to measure I had a measuring cup and then I thought oh this is kinda silly probably use a pottery bowl just as easily, but my pottery bowl is where my drinking water is usually. Anyway, um, so I had a bucket and I filled it with water and then my brain couldn't come up with, well how do I get 15 kilograms if every time I put them together I get one. So I just really just did the same thing 15 times. Um, I put a little bit of green in here, so do do do. Um, you can see there's a little bit of different colors. Blue is 
six D eighty three. Somehow I got some I and J. I don't remember what that is. Usually it's red, green, and blue. That might be an R that I can't really read very well. Looks like it is. So there's a little bit of red in here, even though I had nothing red. <laughs> um, mostly blue. I put a little bit of green in there intentionally. I have some copper, um, and it was fun. But um, also I had several low quality a uh, dyes. So one thing I can try to do is natural substances. Okay, let's put the bucket back. I'm um, not really sure what the next thing to um, dye. Probably the sail on my sailboat. But maybe if I do dye it, I would want to dye it more vibrantly because it all depends on the quality. So I only want one each, honestly. Um, my fire making skill is very low. But fire making skill gives you ash, and why did it tell me? Oh, I need to combine these. Okay. Um, one of the things I don't always, I usually don't, I don't always what game the system and try to uh, skill up. But right now I have a decent amount of sleep bonus still. Um, I'm just going to fire this place up. I did this before. It doesn't create high quality ash. I realize that I could be making a charcoal pile and I haven't done that. That charcoal pile is going to be really low quality. Um, even though I've got some charcoal from... well anyway, um, the charcoal pile would be create the ash. It would create um, tar I think. So I wouldn't even have to go looking for tar. Um, oops, I just moved. Nope, oh, I got it. Um, uh, I don't know. I just thought this would be kind of, I don't know if it's not interesting or not, but um, one day I went around and did a bunch of these. And I don't have enough kindling, but that doesn't matter. This will get me, like I had made some wood uh, scraps that I kind of let sit around. So we're going to do a combination of that. And we're just going to we're gonna light this. <laughs> We're gonna burn this place to the ground, baby. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, we're just going to find the wood scraps that I have around here. Let's make some fire, um, and then come back and collect it all. It's not as efficient as a wood pile. I realize that, but I'm doing it this way because I'm doing it this way, <laughs> mostly, mostly just because I am. So, um. This way I'll have some kindling. Maybe if I stop before I get all the kindling done, then I can actually save kindling for myself or when I randomly need it later. Um, these are pretty. This is a lot of scrap wood scrap, so this might not all end up being kindling. In fact, I probably don't want to make it all kindling because 45 is a lot of kindling. Of course, what I'm going to try to do is keep the fires close together. Um, but this way it also increases my um, fire making skills because those are really, really bad. Um, my fire making is 18. And it doesn't need to be really good, 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 I suppose. But um, why don't we take advantage of some knife work and some alchemy, natural substances? and make some lye and I've got some really poor quality lye and then that way that will boost that up but to do that I'm going to need my kindlings and so um, it, this is the um, part of the game that I don't tend to do where I don't tend to um, not skill up but um, cheat the system is not really the right word but yet it is um, one of the things that I find interesting in video games, and it doesn't mean worm necessarily, I'm not interested, well it is interesting to me I guess, um, is how um, there's a system put in place and uh, meant to do something like um, have a certain level that you achieve better at we go, 19 um, whoops I um, 
it helps you to pace yourself to what the developers have decided is the correct pacing for their game. Well, if I get far enough. I'm trying to put one in each space because it seems that it doesn't like multiple spaces. Um, and then if I did put together a charcoal pile, um, I could sure do that. Um, I could take some of my um, low quality logs and put them in there, but then my charcoal pile wouldn't be that quality. Um, I'm at the point now where it feels frustrating to use um, 30 quality logs. Um, again, pacing for the video game. I had a whole bunch of 30 quality pieces that went on my boat. My boat making skills are pretty crap. And so it took a lot longer than a lot of these other um, items that I have been working with. Um, and that's just, that's kind of an interesting, not point, counterpoint, but um, this to me, this process what I'm doing right now is a process that is meant to, oh, there's some more other wood scraps, but um, to game the system. See, we are going to have a lot of fire sounds, we're going to have a lot of um, competing sounds that I, oh, it was useless. Um, this is one of the exceptions, I suppose, sort of. Um, I can do it for a while, and I'm, I don't mean to come off as, oh, I'm better than everybody else, because, heck no, I'm not necessarily. Um, so I will do the same as everybody else. Um, I, I just personally, I see I have 28 kindling, that's a lot of kindling. Um, I personally just don't enjoy for very long. And sometimes people find the game is how, the game is fixing the game. Or, um, how do I manipulate the game to my advantage? And I watch other people play other games, and they go farming, and they it seems really freaking boring. And so is this, which is why we're talking about something that's not related to what we're doing. Um, I'm just gonna get one in a square. Um, I don't know. It's interesting how you feel about that, and from an ethics standpoint, or from a boring ADD standpoint, this game, oh, there's a lot I need to talk to you guys about. Not need, but like, I like thinking about like how games are structured, and why um, the choices are made the way they are. I like, this is really strange to be addicted to a game that you know doesn't appeal to a lot of people. Um, I'm not saying it will appeal to zero people, um, but the whole idea of um, starting at really crap levels and um, building up my fire skills, some people hate the idea, hey I have to go make an anvil to make nails to make a barrel, why do I ha why can't I just have a um, piece of wood and then that's acceptable enough to create a barrel. Um, there, there's a balance between the right amount of fiddliness and the right amount of um, play style, um, this game to me hits the right balance. Um, oh, I've gotten through my kindling. Awesome. So we're, we're setting the world on fire here. And, um, right now, oh, I could keep going. Let's, let's keep going. Ash, ash is usually, um, especially done in this way. Um, with this wood scrap is not that great quality. Ash is going to be same quality as this, so it's gonna be crap. So, um, but we're gonna, yeah, let's let's just keep going with this whole. Why not? Um, so we'll carve up our um, wood scraps, stand in the fire while we do it. Ouch! 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 
hurts, hurts, hurts. No, it doesn't. Um, that's funny. Um, another video game logic thing um, is why do sometimes you can get burned by a character who's fighting you, but the um, the purposefully um, like the the, the aggro monster, the monsters, the monsters that are supposed to be um, hurting you, those are the ones that are going to burn you, but I can stand in the dang fire, I can stand, my horse can stand in the fire, <laughs> my horse can stand under water, I can stand under water, but yet if I, I'm, I don't have stamina, then I drown. It's funny, um, whoops, it's funny and strange, and I'm just going to go on the road, I'll make it easier to find. I forget how easy, how hard it is to find the ash. And we're just gonna let these burn, burn to the ground. No. And that, that's funny. I mean, I guess I'm creating a contained campfire. Um, and now I have four kindling, and I have two kindling. I really should save myself some kindling, shouldn't I? But this is kind of addictive um, in itself, because you're like, oh, okay, keep going. Where can I make a path and keep going and not die? See, I, I don't know. Oh, I've already got my first one. Take that. Awesome. We're burned out already. So this is kind of nice. This doesn't take very long. Look. Just have to find the piles of ash. And that's why you do one in a square. So you go to the next square. You go to the next square. You go to the next square. Nice, nice dealy bobs, right? Um, I need to get a bucket or something to work on my natural substances. Now, I, I wonder. Okay, so there's another whole like discussion. It's the same, same discussion as what I was just talking about. Is okay. So you game the system. So. Do I worry about putting one ash at a time and making it into um, fly? Or do I worry about... Um, let's get a second bucket. See, like, my horse is going to stand right here and this wooden cart doesn't get hurt. Um, so am I going to be concerned with the um, gaminess of this? Do I do one at a time? But I, wouldn't that help my skill go up better? I think it does. But see how the lie disappeared? And all those, um, this is similar to how I did the um, um, the dyes. I did the same thing with the dyes. I would fill up the bucket. The bucket's going to hold what 15, I think. So as long as let's see what it, it holds 12. So as soon as I get 12, I will be fine. Um, so this is exactly what I did with the woads. I had a woad um, pile. I would put, I would create, I would fill the bucket with water. Um, there's probably a faster way, but then I also maybe worked on my um, alchemy or natural, see natural substances is now 17. Um, earlier I just said this was 16, so when I started it was 15. Um, this is where you really should start anyway, and not start with dye, because then your dyes are harder to get, and that's um, one thing that we know. And I do need to actively, well, not actively work on it. I I can have, I do want to um, something about being able to change stuff is pretty cool. Um, fill the bucket. Put the ash in the bucket, create the alchemy, create the lie. Um, I I know that I could save time and fill a bucket with salty water, combine all the ashes. Um, I think I could combine the ashes. Some things you can combine, some things you can't. Ash seems like something you would be able to combine. Um, but um, somehow my desire right now is to game system. <laughs> um, 
so again, like I said, I'm not better than anybody that does. Um, to me, a game is meant to be played how you're going to play it and enjoy it. Um, sometimes it's more enjoyable to... did I not take it? No, this happened before. Where it helped, and the way I did that was to drop something else on the ground. Nope. Drop two something else's on the ground. Nope. Um, they didn't pile up. Okay. I have to find the right outline for Ash. It disappeared. I'll pile something up on the ground. Why does it let me pick me up? This happened before. Can I get it for just a second? There. Um. Um. I, a lot of times, the fun part about this game is to um, keep going, to make more, to be better. Sometimes the fun part about this game is the skill. Um, finding it easier to, since a lot of my gameplay ends up being concentrated on certain days, to save up the um, <sighs> sleep bonus for those days. And so because this is a day that I have three hours of sleep bonus still, this would be a good day to do the lower level skills that I want to increase. And yes, I know I can turn it off and turn it back on again. I realize I have that control. Um, but, um, let's see. Oh, there's one. It's going. You can kind of see it. The line. Where did I travel? I know where I traveled. I went to where the ash pops up. And if I don't know, then I go to the campwood fire that's about out. Um, I don't know. It's it's an interesting um, thought experiment, I guess. With Worm, I mean, with, with, with other games too, but with Worm, you can play it both ways. Like I suspect, based on how people, how you watch people's play style, um, certain people like the adventure better um, when they go on adventures and they do the next best thing. And some people like the adventure when they start over, some people like the adventure of maintaining a um, Status quo. Um, it's really fun. I'm gonna try not to do the ash with one. Um, made it when it's useless. Wow. Um, um, what was I saying about it? I don't know. I think some of the game is, and Worm particularly, is this little um, gamification of rewards. Um, this is kind of two topics in the same time. Um, whoops, I didn't actually make Ash. Um, I didn't make Lie. So, the reward system and, and penalize system, right? So like, see, I've got an 8 quality ash and a 1 quality ash, and I expect most of my ash to be 8 quality, um, but that's going to depend on other factors too. And my, my lie must have had a really bad one that I didn't even notice. Um, created some lie that was lower quality, um, and that's the reverse of a. So like you're you're at a um, 
oh, what do you call it? A um, casino, and you're playing the slots. And, oops, that's twelve. Um, so if you're in a casino playing slots, right, and you are sometimes rewarded with seeing all the sevens or whatever, and you you get a small reward. Your brain kind of kicks in and says, "Hey, um, let's see, um, this is two. Let's see if I. Hey, I'm gonna double my quality. Probably not because I've got a 38 damage. Let's see what that does. Hey, it's three. Three is better than that. Okay, good. Um, so it's a positive reward system." In um, slots, and it keeps you sitting at the table. Like they've they've done all these um, like behavior studies, and it keeps people at the table to sporadically give um, rewards. And you're seeing this on social media too. Like sporadically, you're gonna get likes, or sporadically, you're gonna get comments, or sporadically, you don't know. But um, some of the appeal. Of, um, oh, I should, well, um, some of the appeal of this whole process is the, um, possibility that you might get rewarded for something you said or something you did. Um, in Worm, you see that directly with the, um, foraging um, rewards of coins. Um, positive results. That eventually you're going to get something good. If you keep foraging, you might get, you know, a silver or 20 copper or whatever, but you don't know when it's coming. You can't predict it. Your brain goes on overload and says, oh, there's something that's good about me going to do this. Um, sorry if this is not your favorite sound. It's not my favorite sound either. Um, to bear with me, I guess, or skip this video. Um, but I think um, Worm does it in the opposite level too, right? So, whoops, um, Worm has the damage system, right? Damage quality. You see yourself increasing um, in quality. You see yourself getting better. But then there's that 1.5 and you're expecting the 8.1. And that can be um, motivating in the opposite sense. Which is why I'm motivating myself to increase my alchemy, to increase my natural substances, um, to get better quality level of dye, so that the next thing I dye won't be so gray, right? So they built in these natural um, penalties for not skilling or rewards for skilling one of the, what um, one or the other right um, and I see this more with worm it's more evident I guess with worm but you could take a lot of other video games that do the same I'm not really super um, into lots of video games. In fact, right now, this is kind of like exclusively the game I'm playing, video-wise. I'm playing a lot of board games besides, but video, right now, it's this. And it, some of it is the structure of how it rewards me with the skills. See, I keep talking about like the skills. The skills are going up, or skills are going up. I can create and change the world around me. And that helps my creativity. We can talk about creativity too. Um, I oh, 
no, it won't fit. Okay. Um, I can do something and it's going to change the world. And I just said that. <laughs> um, but I also can get like penalized for not doing the skills. So the other day when I was picking the boat, right? My boat had quality level of 30 um, pieces, in, not pieces, um, tags or some one of my. And I was trying to get, I was just trying to use up the 30 quality of logs that I had sitting in this bin or this other bin. I had 30, 50 quality logs and I had 30 qual 20 quality logs. And I was like, oh, I've got 20 of these. I've saved them for some reason. I don't really want them anymore. Most of the things I can chop are much better than this. Um, but I needed to use them for something, so I might as well use something that I have a low skill on, such as shipbuilding, um, because I know it's going to affect it least compared to the other things that I could um, have it affect. Oh, there's, a, there's a lot. There's, I know this is going to happen for a while. I'm going to see these little piles of ash. That I only see from a distance, and then when I get up to the grass, I won't be able to see it. Um, but I did. I found it. I found it. You're probably screaming at me, don't! You've missed one! I don't think I missed any more. We'll see. From a distance, we'll see. <laughs> from a distance, I'll be like, oh yeah, there's a little, little pub there. Um, I don't probably need to keep going so far. Let's just do like one more of these um, eh, um, things. Or I can hit some of these that are 8.24. Let's do that instead. Let's change the quality level of my stuff around. <sighs> and so my buckets are now not right next to it. That's okay. We'll move everything around. Let's get it where, where it needs to go. Okay, so small bucket. Fill it with water. Ash. Create the lie. It's still 99. It's better. Um, see how this game can be meditative? It's for, it's got some repetitive parts. It's um, it's got rhythm. I could do this, and then I do this, and then I do this. And maybe that's why I accept all these frustrating parts about this, because of the meditative part that's like, oh, I can play it this way. You can tell where my fire making skills got better, because, um, Either that or I'd use different, um, I might be worried to use different, um, either fire making skills made a difference on that, or the, um, wood scraps I used were different. I can't remember which one affects, and, um, sometimes that's a blessing in this game, where you're like, oh, it might be this, it might be that, and sometimes it makes this game frustrating on another level. Because you're counting on something that doesn't actually happen the way you're expecting it to. I have no idea if you can hear all this is as dramatically as I am. This is slightly distracting. And gonna make me want to pause here in a minute. Um, or stop. But, um, no, it's just kind of nice to spend some time pontificating about this game instead of just um, playing it for a certain end. Um, obviously if you're the kind of person who likes the exploring part, you're not going to like this video very much. Um, I like both. And it depends on the day and the mood and the place and how are the things are going? A couple more. I'm just going to do to the end of this here. Um, I'm losing the sun. It's going down. And we will stop the video after we do the boring part, right?
then that way I don't have to keep thinking about all the stuff and save up some of my topics to talk about. Because I kind of talked about two topics that I wanted to talk about sort of together. Sort of, kind of. Natural substances is now 20. So I started the day when I was 15. Now it's 20. Um, I think that's the one that um, guides dyes. So that makes me feel good. We did something. We did something here and it was good. And um, Oh, one other thing. I even didn't even realize. Um, let's find our fly. And increase it even more. 4.6. Um, let's see if we can do this. I'm going to... Um, no, after a while there's an option on the oven. I didn't know this. Somehow I missed it. It says clean out oven. And um, apparently I, my oven is not dirty enough to um, justify it yet at the moment. But the oven is clean outable. Ooh, I should dye the water. Eh, I like the little wood though. I don't know. I need to dye. I need to figure out what I'm going to dye. My barrels would be fun dyed, but I never have the barrels out usually. Um, I what I need to do is come in here and take a look at a whole bunch of things. Um, if I can make more of each one of those um, crates, if I've maxed out the crate amount, I didn't really look um, at what the crate amount is. I think mm, some of my plans of the future are bigger um, fence, and I need to do that off camera, I'm pretty sure. Um, that way I can spend some time. I'd like to dye the sail on my boat like Wayfarer has, because that's pretty on the boat that he's got. That I never see him use. Um, Maybe I just missed the videos where he was using it. Um, besides raking um, all of these wonderful things, I need to start getting the materials together again for my fourth level, and I need to do that off screen as well. So I think right now I'm going to say sayonara. I should have taken a picture with all those um, fires. Ah, well, I will take a picture of my horses and my new um, colored um, cart because that was something I've been wanting to do since I started two months ago plus now maybe something like that I think it's been a little of um yeah we're two and a half months now almost so you've been with me a couple weeks at least so yay I almost a month yeah quite all right, well, I'll take a picture. Take a picture and try not to. Now, see, I did it again. I'm off by one almost always when I try this. And that. Um, I found it easy to make the keybind for pictures in Worm the same as the keybind, the what it's expecting in Steam, and somehow that's worked for my pictures. I know other people are having problems with pictures. My nosy Nora, my Nora's notables, yet I still have never made my horses. Maybe that will be some other time. If you have a good horse name, maybe put it in the comments, maybe? I don't know, I'm not really I'm not really liking comments. Um, I know the reputation of YouTube, so... <laughs> um, if you don't see a comment right away, if you want to join our server and talk about this, <laughs> or... Um, make your own philosophies <laughs> about the game and gameplay and how games work. Um, talk to Wayfair, Wayfair Project on YouTube. Wayfair it will be happy to add you as long as you are a positive part of our community. And um, if you want to try Moray Hand, this is one area that you can um, be part of. And there's some resources for you, and we will get you more views on the resources you have later. So take care, and I will talk to you some other time.